Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'll be doing a get ready with me video, and um, yeah, I'm in a rush. Why am I always late? I swear. <laughs> but today I'll be doing a review on the Gudao Vegan Rice Milk uh skincare line. I've been using them for quite a quite a while, and I'm very excited to finally show them on this channel. The reason why I didn't show them immediately is because um, I wanted to make sure that they were okay and like they were pr they were um, giving me results and they were. I really wish that I took a picture of like my before and after progress but I really promise that my skin definitely improved a lot like um, it's definitely not perfect but um, compared to the state that it was in it really came so far um today's get ready with me might be a bit chaotic and i hope it will be okay with that because uh, i'm late but i'll try my best to like um walk you through this process oh and also um after the previous get ready with me i realized that the setup was like quite doable and the audios actually sounded really good so i decided to stick with the new setup kind of impromptu but okay um let me talk more about the gudao skincare line before i go into it so specifically i'll be talking about the gudao vegan rice milk skincare line what i like about this line is that people of all ages or different skin types or different genders they are all suitable to use um, the products in this skincare line personally for me i have dry and um, sensitive skin so i feel that people who have the same combination as me you guys will really enjoy the products all the products have passed the french eve vegan certification they are cruelty free and um, they use plant-based ingredients so this is the toner and this is actually made from a 30 percent recycled plastics and the cream here the cream bottle is um, made of a mixture of paper and plastic so uh, it actually uses 58% less plastic on normal and even on the back here you can see um, lines and instructions on where to cut so uh, it makes recycling easier for you once you're done with the bottle. So that's what I really like because they really it means that they really thought about the environment as well. And the best thing is that it's all the the products in this line they're all vegan. Recently, I've been like into searching for vegan skincare and also rice. When I searched, these were like the first few products that came up on my on my list. And I don't know why not many people talk about them because it is seriously super good. So it's underrated. So I'm not gonna gatekeep. Uh, please, really recommend this. Yeah, I love it. I'm religiously using this every day and night. That's just how good it is. I literally cannot use other skincare products anymore after I turn to them. <laughs> Let's move on to the toner. It is a 250ml toner. By the way, I'm so sorry if I keep looking to, to the side. My, my notes are like on the side. And uh, I didn't really have time to memorize it beforehand. But I'm not just reading off like a script or whatever. It is... I've ensured that every word I've put there is 100% honest. So they describe this toner as the mild toner that is moisturizing for the face. They also call this toner the botanical rice milk um, because it is made after grinding and milking sandui rice uh, after soaking it in water. So the highlight ingredient uh, in this toner is that it contains 1% of vegan rice milk and aqua ceramide which helps to replenish and lock in the moisture and also helps to calm down and soothe your uh, skin uh, as the first step because toner you usually apply it as the first step right and uh, you can choose to apply the toner with your hands or with a cotton pad but personally I prefer to apply it with my hands I'm not sure if you can see but the viscosity of this toner is quite thick so I usually like to apply it with my hands so because the viscosity of the t of this toner is quite thick, so I feel like it does not really absorb well into the cotton pad. So I'm and I feel like I might just end up wasting a bit more toner than I would as as opposed to just putting it on my face directly with my hands. So I really like to get in the crevices of my the corner of my nose. And I like to layer on my toner. Um I like to do two layers of my toner. Uh, but if my skin is like really dry, I would apply up to four layers. Even with four layers on, it doesn't make my skin feel awkward because it absorbs very easily and lightly into my skin. So it actually, it really doesn't feel icky or sticky at all. This toner has like no fragrance to it. 
in the sense where it does not have like any sweet or, or strong kind of perfume smell but it has this like very pleasant no fragrant kind of fragrance like it kind of reminds me of wheat <laughs> yeah but but if you're worried if there's fragrance like the really strong kind there is no there's nah it does not have that kind of fragrance okay next moving on to the Gudao vegan rice milk moisturizing cream um this cream is really good for it's it's a really good day slash night cream i use it before i apply my makeup and i use it before i go to bed it's amazing so the reason why i can use this as both my day and night cream is because i feel like the texture is really light but the um ability to lock in the moisture is really powerful on the website right it says that this cream is light but also able to maintain a 24 hour comfortable skin barrier on the face and gradually over time it'll also help to improve your skin barrier i'm guessing that's why i like in my previous point that i said i'm able to use it as both my day and night cream and as to improving my skin barrier this is actually true i've been using this for um one and a half months now i think so two to three weeks ago, I was like breaking out quite badly. I don't know why, but I guess it's just hormones or like just just normal stuff. And I just religiously apply these products every night, every day. And subsequently, it helped improve my skin. Uh, my skin recovered from the breakouts. And yeah, like you can never tell my skin had a breakout two to three weeks ago. And another thing that I love about this cream is that you can still apply a lot on your face, on your face, and your face wouldn't feel super oily and and uh, sticky. I feel like this cream is best applied in layers, so I um I I just don't like applying a lot in one shot. So I would apply normally two layers of it if I'm having really dry skin. Um, I'll apply three to four layers. But just like the toner, even with um, a few layers sitting on your face, it doesn't feel awkward, it doesn't feel oily because the toner and cream, they both easily absorb into the skin very well. Super good. And the thing about this cream is that not only can you use it on your face, you can use it... Um, anywhere else in your body part that you would like to that is dry so sometimes my hands are dry right like especially the wrist area before i sleep i'll also apply it on my wrist and the next product is this the the Gudao vegan rice milk moisturizing sun cream it's basically a sunblock i've been using another sun cream which is the beauty of Jusons one uh if you watched my previous video get ready with me videos i think i mentioned it um, yeah, but I'm just happy that they finally have this in their line. It's perfect. It's an inorganic sunblock, so it might be a bit white on the face, but I guess you could count it as like, you could call it as like um, a natural tone up. This is almost as moisturizing as their uh, vegan cream. So, actually, if you were to, if you want to save time or if your skin is not that dry you could just apply the toner skip the cream and jump next jump straight to this but usually i don't skip any steps i'd use the three products but i'm just saying that you could if you want to this is how it looks like it's quite watery um yeah but i feel like people with oily skin might not really uh like this because um you might feel like it's a bit too oily for you, especially uh, if it's during the summertime or if you're living in a country like Singapore where it's humid 24-7, uh, then maybe the sunblock might not exactly be it for you. But for people with dry skin like me, I think it's amazing. It is really moisturizing. So actually later on, I'll be going out and I'll be dyeing my hair. So I'm quite excited for that. The color that I'm going to dye my hair is like <laughs> orange. I've dyed my hair orange before, but it was like in streaks. It was like as a highlight. So I'm going to dye my whole head orange. 
and a very important thing is that this sunscreen does not sting my eyes it does not sting anywhere i do not have any allergic reactions to it the thing with sun cream is that sometimes people skin can react very very badly to sun cream i don't know why but in my case i did not have any bad reactions to it uh, my skin actually my skin loves this sunblock so much okay it's been five minutes and i've let everything settle down i let everything absorb in cool okay we're moving on to the next step uh i have introduced this in my previous get ready with me it is the vanilla co coverlicious uh power fit foundation in the shade 23 peanut i will not talk too much about this foundation because i already went into details about it in my previous get ready with me which uh if you're interested you can go and watch I'll link it like there or something. I think it's really important to have a good skincare prep before you apply your makeup on because that actually changes the way your makeup is applied and shown on your skin using the Chom Chom Castella Puff. For example, if you um decide to skip skincare and jump straight to foundation, I mean like I guess you could, but I do not I can't afford to do that because I do not have good skin and i have very dry skin so um if i do that my foundation even if it's not matte or semi matte or even if it's like a moisturizing kind of foundation my face wouldn't appreciate that and um it would start flaking and the flakes would be very obvious and i don't like it when it flakes but another thing with skincare is that you gotta make sure that you you apply the right skin care products as well because let's say you apply um too little or a skincare product that is too mild for your skin um you still end up flaking anyway but if you apply too much or too oily kind of um skincare product i feel like it might hinder the um makeup ability to stay on your face i, I mean i guess you could use primer but still yeah that is why I really like the um, entire Goudao skincare line. I could apply layers of it and my makeup ability to stay would not be hindered. I swear this sounds so much like an ad and not sponsored or what. I wish. <laughs> I wish. It's really 100% honest opinion. This is like just something that's like a hobby that I do. If something comes out of it, I guess then I'll be really happy. But if not, I'm okay with like, you know, not being sponsored or stuff like that because it's out of passion and hobby that I do this. I'm not doing this for a living. So yeah, I just really like the idea of sharing great products with um, people all over the world. Anyone who is an OG of my YouTube channel, I think I used this in the very like early days of my makeup videos and I'll be using this again. This is like my comfort palette to turn to whenever I'm rushing for time just because I think it's a very simple palette. It really doesn't require much uh, effort and um, skills. Yeah, the fluffy brush and I'm gonna use the lightest color as my base. I'll just wash this color all over my lid. I'm very interested in Roman products. They recently got like this new um launch, which is like the Roman and Grocery uh launch. I got two lip tints from there, which I will show you guys in a bit. <laughs> and I also got like their nail polish. Yeah, they came up with like a whole nail polish color. Um I wanted to get all honestly, but because I'm a beginner like on DIY nails so I was like okay let's just get started with two first so again I will show you the nail products that I got later so um sorry so chaotic I completely forgot about concealer you see the vanilla coast like foundation coverage is so good that it sometimes it just makes me forget about concealer so I'll be using the Ve uh, Cleo's vegan wear cover concealer just like the vanilla core I, I will not be talking too much about this because I, I made a Cleo vegan wear haul video I'm not sure if by the time I upload this, I think the clear video should be out already. Yeah, so if you're interested in Cleo's vegan wear makeup, you can go check out that video out. I'm gonna use the Fili Mili 811 concealer brush. 
gonna blend out the red spots around my the corners of my nose. I like to put concealer on like my chin area because I like to brighten up that area. Okay, moving on, I will use this small um fluffy brush and I will use this shade over here and I will apply it to the end of my eyes like that and up to my crease. I'm gonna take my fluff my first fluffy brush, I'm gonna clean it out on a tissue and then I'm just gonna blend it left and right like that. You know when I think about left and right I, I think about two songs instantly. Seventeen's left and right and Charlie Puth and uh, Jungkook's new song Left and Right. What? Memories follow me left and right. God, okay, I totally forgot, but and I'll be using Lip Leaf uh, Steaming Lip Mask. I'm gonna use this small brush from Etude House. This is from the Etude House X Hyojin Contour Set. I use this more as, a, as an eyeliner brush as compared to using it for my contour. I find it more handy and useful for like eyeliner brush. So I'm just gonna create a wing. I'm going to do liner later and I hope I don't I don't mess up. It has been a while since I did liner cuz these days right whenever I rush, I would do everything and just leave out liner cuz like I would think that like the eyeshadow liner is enough and I'll just skip liner. So um it has been a while since I did my liner, so I hope everything's okay. Uh using the first fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend it out a bit. You see, whenever I'm in a rush, right, my makeup steps are like all over the place. So now I'll be doing my brows. I'll be using Espoir's uh, Brow Balance Pencil. This is in cool grey. Please let this be an eyebrow day, bro. I'm usually not that concerned with my right brow. It's my left brow. <laughs> My left brow can never be done very well, nicely, when in a rush. Okay, whatever. I think they're. I think it's acceptable, kind of. I think it's okay. <laughs> Yikes! But I think it's okay, dude. I am literally sweating. The amount of concentration I put in just for my brows and it will be the same like this when I do my liner. Oh god. Using the same liner brush that I used, right? I would use a little bit. I'll mix the two browns together. Just put a bit just to fill in my brows a little bit. Because my brows look a bit too um cool cool for like it doesn't really match with my color scheme. Make it I mean or you could really use like a brown pencil if you already had one which i don't have i had to like touch up a little bit on my foundation because i blended out my um brow pencil so much that like it was starting to get gray below so i had to use a little bit of my foundation and just cover it a little bit here yeah but it's it, it's it's okay now oh <sighs> okay uh i am going to do my worst fear my liner i hope everything works out well i'm um, using my trusty Peri Para Tatum Edition Brown Liner. Okay, I want today's liner to not be that long because when it's not that long, it means that there's lesser space to, uh, um, I mean, mess up. Well, I was this close to swearing. <sighs> I'm getting hand cramps just from this. Okay, so I'll just let it dry. So now I'm going to do my blush. 
another OG that has appeared on my channel for a very long time ago is this Roman blush in a melting beige. Let's just forget the fact that my sponge broke because I was the string broke because I was too rough with it. I'll be using my finger, blending it out to my cheekbone, but I'm not gonna blend it up high. Just blend it to my cheekbones. And then for contour, I'll be using a new product, Wake Make uh, Contour. This is in the shade 01 Soft to Warm. I actually got the set, so um, it came with Fili Mini 855 Contour Brush. But honestly, I don't really use this brush that often. So I love this contour palette because like it's a gradient from lighter shade to darker shade it's so you can choose where you want to go uh usually for nose contour i would choose in the middle like literally in the middle of it i'll start off on the sides of my nose first then i'll bring it from the eyebrow to here this is so that um the shadow that i create here will not look too dark there are like so many instances where I used this and I looked like I had dirt on my face. I don't want that to happen. So when I start off here on the side of my nose, it just is basically like shading my nose. So um, if I color it in the area, I think it's fine. As compared to color it, coloring in like over here in this area. And then now I'm going to curl my lashes with this Shu Uimura lash curler i'm gonna use etude house's co fix mascara i love this mascara the only thing that i do not like about it is actually the brush okay so you can see like the white dead skin cells on my lips the new tin that I got from Romance Grocery Store like uh, edition is it's the Juicy Lasting Tint in Papaya Jam. So this is the color. It's kind of MLBB and I love it. It's like what it says, it's a very juicy tint. I think the main difference between this tint and the, um, I forgot what's the other tint name, I'll probably put like a name below here or something, but that one is basically more sheer looking and glossier looking. This one still looks quite solid. Okay, so the last step I'm gonna do is my highlighter. Of course, the one and only Romaine highlighter. I haven't used this in a while because I've been obsessed with another highlighter that I've been using. Um, it's from Glint and it's the shade in Milky Moon. It is super iridescent looking and I just absolutely love it. But the only reason why I'm using this today is just because, you know, since I'm doing an OG revisit back on my uh, Romand palettes my eyeshadow palette and my blush palette you know might as well just complete the set with the highlighter palette as well and i'm gonna use this brush again and i dipped it in a highlighter and just put it in the inner corners a very beautiful shine in the inner corners of your eyes really brightens the entire look okay and to match this like peachy um, brown look, I actually got two nail polish like what I mentioned earlier on from the Roman from the Roman Grocery Edition. I got the peach color looking one and the milk color looking one. I forgot what the colors are called. This is the color that I used. I'm obviously a beginner, and these are not applied very well. I know, and I but I think I'm very brave to apply them because um I do not have any nail polish remover at home, so I literally just went in there and like wing it and yolo. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And obviously, my ring one over here was not applied nicely at all. So, 
whatever but i think the color is pretty nice it's very sheer though so um like the color of your nail pol uh, your nails can still be seen um i think this was like my third layer then it started becoming a little bit more started having like a little bit more coverage to it but um yeah i think it's perfect for like a natural look if you ask me oh okay look at this hair oh my god okay so uh even though i'll be going to the hair salon later but i'm just gonna style simply at least like let my hair not look like this and i'm gonna pop in my contact lens so i'll be right back all right you guys this is the finished look um it's amazing hello okay like my eye bags always come out i don't know why but anyway aside from that um i think this is amazing this look is good I hope my recommendation, especially about the Goodow skincare line, uh, gave you some insight. If like, let's say you're wondering about vegan skincare or um, how the Goodow skincare is like, yeah, uh, it worked out really well for me, and I hope it will for you too. If anyone is planning on getting it, thank you so much for watching, and see you guys in my next video. Bye.